All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on GFXcomet.com. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out the website. All right, what is going on YouTube? And uh, welcome back to the channel to another tutorial and uh today we have something a bit more simple um and this just kind of allows us to um go into a bit more detail about the techniques and just to help all the beginners out there so um yeah let's start off with a new canvas 3000 by 1950 with a resolution of 100 as you can see and uh, we're just gonna hit create so this right here is the logo that we are going to be recreating today and we are featuring lone walker arts here is all of his information this is his twitter and this is his and this right here is his discord so if you want to contact him for commissions here is all of his contact details before we start let's analyze how this uh logo was made so here's the text zombie in green battle there's some uh green highlights on the battle as well and uh the outline and the outline has spikes over here as well as the green outline let's start um the first thing i would do is i am going to turn my background into a dark gray take this lock and just drag it to the trash um now we're gonna right click go to blending options and we're just gonna click color overlay and we're gonna change our color to a dark gray there we go and now let's type out our text so we're gonna use our text tool we're gonna click let's increase our uh, font size 300 and we're just gonna type zombie let's move this and let's change our font I'm gonna try maybe super comic I think this will work so let's increase so uh, let's increase the size um it is the same font i think <laughs> that's even uh, better so now that we have this uh let's type out our battle text so battle as you can see scale this down now this text right here is there's a slight curve so how we're going to achieve that is you want to hit Control t and right click go to warp we're going to go up here and go to arc and we're just gonna scale this down as you can see and match it just a bit better alright so we have our text now let's get on to the effects um, for battle actually I mean I mean zombie we're gonna take zombie and control A you will select the green color and for battle you want to select the uh, silver silverish color as you can see let's uh, drop this back down we're gonna make a new layer and we're gonna hold alt as we go in between and click down this will clip this layer into this now we're gonna use our pencil and we're just going to you want to make sure it's on shape fill is on and your stroke is off now we're just gonna draw some shapes just like this as you can see Alright, so hold alt and clip all of these in. Now we're going to take all of these and we're going to click on the top layer, hold shift to click on the bottom one, right click and we're going to go to and we're going to go to rasterize layers. And you also want to hit control E on your keyboard. Now we're going to take these. Let's try let's lower the opacity first. And now we're just going to use our now we're just going to use our eraser tool and we are just going to erase away some parts just like that and we're just going to hold alt and drag um, right over here and this will duplicate it so there we go we can erase some parts as well hold alt and drag on the first one to copy it again we're going to take this and we could change this one um, the color to white Increase the opacity. Let's go rasterize layer style. 
Alright, and we can maybe change this one to overlay mode. So you just want to keep repeating this process, as you can see. Um, we could try some different shapes, so we could use a rectangle, make sure it's on white. The color is white, and we're just going to drag, and uh, we're just going to drag and clip it into the text layer. Control T, and we're just going to rotate, go to overlay, and we have something like this. Right and take all these there we go copy again change this to a dark color now and we're just gonna go rasterize there so I'll put this on overlay all right so once you are happy or right, so once you're happy with that we're gonna take the original text layer we're gonna hold alt drag it up let go to make a copy right click go to rasterize type and you want to hold control click on the thumbnail icon just like that and go to select modify and contract we're going to go contract by 15 now you want to hit backspace twice on your keyboard so there we go and we're just going to go blending option color overlay we're going to go white we're going to go right click rasterize layer style, change this to overlay. And now you want to use your eraser tool and just erase away some parts as well, as you can see over here. This one's actually a bit more thin, but it is what it is. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. We can copy this again, make this one normal, erase away some parts. Except for maybe, except for maybe the corners. Now we're going to take this, go into blending options, and go to gradient overlay. And I'm going to make this uh, from black to white. And I'm going to do overlay. Or soft light. I think soft light actually works better. So we're going to do that. So uh, yeah, we're just going to do that. And now we are going to do the 3D effect. Um, I'm not going to explain every single thing because we have a lot of previous tutorials i don't want to take up too much time um just go ahead and do this so make a copy rasterize the layer style and we're just gonna make this smaller and now we're just gonna change the color to a dark green as you can see make a new layer select the dark green and we're just gonna use our pencil and now we will just connect these points just like that go up and we're just gonna go here up here and here Alright, just let me finish these, uh, um, this last part right over here, so, I'm gonna take, actually I missed this one part, alright, there we go, now I'm just gonna take this and I'm going to merge all of these together, so, there we go, make a new layer, clip it in, use our brush tool, and we're just gonna brush some, uh, highlights and effects. So, there we go, there we go, just like that, I'm going to change this to overlay, copy it again, and there we go. Let's compare. I think we're doing pretty good so far. Now let's just do the same thing for battle. And uh, luckily we have all of our effects here. So we just copy it. Clip all these in. 
to make it easier for us. All right. And we could just lower some of these down. Um, so normal, this one. Copy these all over. And we're just gonna take this and do the 3D effects. Change the color to a dark gray. Now, make a new layer. We are going to select this. We're gonna select this and go to our pencil. Zoom in. And let's just connect these points. So, we go up here, cross to the top. There we go. The corners. Alright, so I am done with that. Um, also, just something I wanted to say. If you guys have any specific um, tutorials you want us to make, we would happily and gladly do so. Just make sure you comment it down below. Because our whole purpose for this channel is to help is to help all of you. So, so if you have any tutorials, anything you want to learn, um, you can be as specific as you want. We would actually prefer that. Um, over you know just more general and broad tutorials so if you got anything comment in down below the zombie battle um, I want to do some a bit more shadows so use my brush just gonna paint There we go, and let's go to overlay. I'm actually just going to blur it a bit. There we have it. Now we can finally get to the background part. So we're just gonna take everything, click on the top layer, hold shift. Now we're gonna click on the bottom one, control G, control J, and control E. So we got this right here. And we're just gonna make a new layer underneath. Hold control, click on the uh, click on the thumbnail icon of uh, the text. Go to select, modify, and expand by 25. I think 25. I think 25 is good. By 25, and let's take this off for now. Make sure your colors on black. We're gonna hit Alt and Backspace twice, and Control D. Make a new layer. Now we're just gonna use our brush tool. Make sure your opacity, make sure your opacity and flows all the way up. Hardness as well. We're gonna go to our brush settings. Make sure spacing is all the way down. Um, to access brush settings, you can go to the window, brush settings right over here. Now you just want to brush in these uh, dark areas. These uh, empty areas right over here. Let's go across. Alright, there we go. And we're just gonna click, hold control click and control E to merge. Now that we have this, make a new layer and uh, use your pencil now to create these spikes. So this one goes down and across. And uh, this seems to be the bottom part, it's symmetrical. Um, you could do it however you like. I'm just going to drag a ruler right to the middle, right over here, and you could just do some spikes I'm not gonna copy exactly because this part is really just up to you copy it control T right click and flip let's drag this across uh, make a new layer and now let's get on to the top so like I said this is just completely up to you do it however you want Um, yeah, 
so just flip this over as you can see um that is pretty fair to me now i'm just gonna take everything i'm going to control j make a copy hide this for now take these and merge these so control e we're gonna apply a white outline so right click and go to blending options stroke and add a white outline you can barely see it and it's right there all right so now with this um right click rasterize rasterize layer so click on the icon select modify expand by 25 um it's a bit too much let's do let's try expand by expand by 10. you want to be on a new layer and we're just gonna select the green color and do alt backspace so select and alt backspace there we go there we go and uh there is some additional brush effects so i just want to take everything um select all control g control j control e now let's just take this make a new layer clip it into the logo use your brush and as you can see there are some green brush effects um over here as well there's some particles so we could go ahead and do those oops uh, make sure you drop this down as well as some of these settings just paint over this and now you just want to paint over these yeah, and go to overlay and go to screen oops now you just want to drop this down as you can see copy this again clip it in overlay maybe you can erase some parts like so Um, we can take this, go to gradient overlay, black to white again, on, on uh, soft light or overlay mode, it's up to you, I see I'm going to do overlay for this one, there we have it, there we go, and also we can do white rectangles, so change to white, and we can use this for the shine. So copy these and change these to overlay mode. Erase away some bits. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. Once again, make sure you comment tutorials that you want to see. Be as specific as you can and we will try our best to deliver. As long as you guys continue to support us, that is all we need. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This one is a bit shorter than the other one, the Tapping Champions. If you have not seen that, make sure you go ahead and check it out. We have a lot more videos coming, so make sure you subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you get notified for every video as soon as it is posted. So uh, yeah, with that being said, I will see you all next time.